Hey guys, and in this video we're going to be unboxing my uh, new Intel Nook. We're going to install the RAM and we're going to install a hard drive into it. So this is the box. It's a, it's a lovely little thing. I've already got two of them. Uh, I have heard reports that some of these can be really loud, but the exact model that I'm using seems to be really quiet. I've got two of them running on my desk and you don't notice they're there. So this is the outside of the box. You can see it comes with the general graphics of uh, exactly what ports you get and where. And uh, for the most part it's pretty light. So let's use a pair of scissors and let's get into it. We are, we are going to have problems with this camera most of the day. So uh, I would advise don't push these scissors in too far. I'm just using them to cut the cellophane. And then if you turn it up the right way up, the top should just slide straight off. Like this. And there is our Intel Nook. And it's a tiny little computer. It's not as small as a Raspberry Pi, but for the what you get, it's pretty small. So uh, you get the computer, you get the the picture instructions, you get a couple of uh, notices, a wall or under table bra bracket. There will be some screws in there somewhere, some other pieces of paper, owner's manual, there's a sticker in here. They are the plugs and the leads, and these are the mountain screws for the bracket. These are the charger, bo charger block and all of the different plugs that come with them. I'll show you in a minute all the different plugs that come with this. So this is the UK plug. This one I'll be using. And then uh, we have several other plugs in here. I'm not going to go into much detail, but you should be able to identify whether your country's plug is here. We have this one. And... If I can get them out, this one. You get about, I think you think you get a five plugs in here. And this one. So this is the charger block. And um, it is universal to the plugs you get. So we want to put this plug here. There's a little sliding mechanism and a little push button. Let me push this back in here and I'll show you exactly. There is the sliding button. You simply push it in and push up. And there you go. Now to put the plug in you do the exact opposite. You slot it in and push down. Make sure it's secure in there and uh, that's you and your charger block done. Um, that means the power supply, everything's ready. So moving on to the actual Intel Nook. So this is it's, this is the little, little Intel Nook. It's not very big. I will put the sizes on my blog post. If you want to follow the link in the description, there are the ports on the back. Pretty standard. This side you've got a uh, SanDisk, and on the front you've got two USB ports. So. You will need a screwdriver to install the hard drive and the RAM. There are four screws in the bottom. We are going to have to adjust this camera again. There you go. And simply undo the screws in the corner. Or, and there should be four of them. Try not to lose them. I haven't lost them yet, thankfully. But um, simply unscrew them. <clears throat> and... Uh, once they're all done, you've made sure they're all done. If you give them a uh, slight tug, like this, they should just slide out. Don't pull it up too quickly because there's a wire on the inside that is very short. So if you just open it out like this, you can get, you can now see that the RAM holder is in front of us. Here's the 8 gig of RAM I'm sticking in this. Yes, I'm sticking 8GB of RAM in it. 
So just bust the pack open for the 8 gig RAM, try not to damage it. I will put the link for the RAM in the description and the link for the Intel Nook I'm using in the description. So you just slot that straight in there, like that. Now we're going to put the uh, hard drive in. It takes a 2.5 SATA. I'm going to put a terabyte hard drive in this as it's going to become part of my server cluster. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors to the uh, anti-static bag and pull our hard drive out. Now getting this hard drive in here, if you turn this to max screen, we sh you should be able to see down the holder in a minute. Uh, about there, you should be able to see the connector at the other end. So it's not rocket science, it only fits in one way. Just slides in and there you go. So now it's in there, you be careful to not pull the wire about, but if you slot it back in like this, you can just do the screws back up. And that is pretty much all of your hardware installing done. Once these screws are done back up, you put a USB stick in the front with whatever operating system you want to install on this, and it is ready to go. Uh, Nice little note for anyone who's uh, not not taken one of these pieces before. There is an arrow on the bottom of the case that tells you which way the front should be. So which way around the, the base goes. Just here. And there's the front. So that is it finished. That is your RAM and your hard drive installed. And tomorrow I will be showing you how to install Zen Hypervisor on it to make a virtual home server. So more capable for running things like um, Minecraft, web servers, mail servers, all at once. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up.